Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So you must have seen one video that a DOM trick, especially for those drop downs or suggestion box where we cannot inspect the element. For example, let's say if you go to this particular application and then if you really search for dev over here. So this is a react based application and the moment you try to right click on it and then go to uh, inspect over here, the entire suggestion list is gone. And then in the last video, I told you that uh, see if you try to search with the dev once again and then you try to inspect the suggestion list it's gone so i'm not able to suggest that i'm not able to inspect that so what exactly i told you the last session that okay you can go to the event listeners and then here you can just capture the listener but here the listener is not available like the blur property is not available same thing if you go to let's see for flipkart and then if you really refresh this particular page once again and let's see i'm looking for the macbook search suggestions and right click on it and then go to inspect and then the suggestions are gone so i'm not able to do that so in that case what you do you simply go to the event listeners and from there you just delete this blur property these three blur properties you can remove that and then you can just easily you can right click on it now and then you can inspect now the suggestions are not getting disappeared so for this application it's fine same thing for let's see if you go to any zira application or and you go to click on create and then for this also you can have a blur property but for react application there is no blur property or as such uh, we don't see any blur property or maybe some salesforce application where a blur property is not available so in that case what will you do so the trick is very simple if you don't see the blur property so what you do you just simply right click on it and go to inspect over here and uh, you search for that let's say i'm going to search for dev or development or let's see I'm going to search for dev tools here and now the suggestions are coming so no need to worry about these suggestions you directly go to the sources or uh, here you can click on new snippet over here you can just simply write a basic javascript and then you click on it the script name whatever you know want to give you can give that and you simply write debugger that's it so this is the command that you need to write and then once again you search for a list let's see for example i'm searching for dev tools number of suggestions are coming and what you do you simply right click on this particular uh, snippet this code that we have written one single line of code that we have written we just need to execute this code so you right click on it and go to run when you run it you can see that paused in the debugger is coming and then the entire page got freeze and then now you can just simply go to the elements tab and then you can inspect all these suggestions which are coming over here in your dom so this is a simple trick that also you can use it where the blur property is not available. Some people, they just do that. They can go to console and then there also you can just put a debugger that also we can do that. For example, let's see suggestion is coming. But the problem here is that let's see I'm writing a debugger over here. And then immediately uh, when you search for that, let's see, for example, dev tools. And then you come here and you try to run it. Then again, this is gone. And then I'm not able to search it over here. So better you go to source and then put a debugger script, one line of script over here and that's it. And then you just simply right click on it and then execute that, right? And then once again, your work is done. You can just uh, play the debugger once again and release the debugger once again. See, I'll show you once again. So I'll do one thing. This is a script that we have written Then I'm going to perform a search, for example, dev tools and uh, whatever the script that you have written, right click and go to run moment i run you see this in the yellow color paused in debugger and then now if you really want to inspect anything once your inspection work is done you can just release the debugger simply click on this resume or play button or that's it then it's gone another trick is that there is a shortcut also for that for example let's see once the suggestions are coming you press function f8 from the keyboard see i'm pressing function f8 like that so that is also giving you a debugger over here but what is happening the moment you press function f8 from the keyboard the suggestions are gone so sometimes the solution also won't work here so better you just search and then run this particular script return over here let's try the same thing on a flip card also so let's see this is the suggestion let me just uh, now we have the blur property i'm not going to remove this blur property so just forget about it I'll go to my sources and I'm going to click on new snippet and simple write a debugger. That's it. And when you search, okay, suggestions are coming here. And what you do, you right click and then go to run and then pause the, uh, the complete screen. And uh, this is a debugger that we are running. 
and now then go to the element section and then you can just inspect anything that you want to inspect over here it won't be disappeared once you inspected you got your xpath or css or whatever after that you can just release the debugger back to normal that's it that's very simple and very straightforward so that is what a couple of people were asking that if blur property is not available then what should i do so this is the another trick with the help of debugger also you can do that inside the dom directly here so that's all for this particular video guys if you like it please subscribe to the channel share this trick with others so that other people also get to know about this trick in the dom and i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all